I live in a home here alone and my home is about a hundred years old so you can figure it's not handicap accessible and in 2014 I was ill and that's when I became disabled. United Cerebral Palsy segment of Greater Chicago believes regardless of disability people have an opportunity to live independently as full members of the community. Ida and the Home Accessibility Program has allowed us the opportunity to provide interior chair lifts, platform lifts, extra wood ramps, bathroom modifications, so people don't feel trapped or confined to their home. So I was in the hospital a long time, and when I came home, I was going to physical therapy, but still I was in denial. I kept thinking, I'm going to you know, beat this and overcome this and push through it. And then someone said to me, call the Department of Aging and they may be able to tell you something. So I called and I spoke with my dear friend, Greg Rill, and he said, yeah, we have a program, but things are on hold right now. So I said, well, if you have a waiting list, put my name on there, please. Uh, the wait list is extensive with over 200 applicants seeking modifications for their homes to address accessibility. Eve Salazar was one of the individuals that put her name on the wait list. She basically sat on the first floor of her home in a hospital bed, had to wait for her son or grandson to come to help her with bathing um, because the only accessible bathroom is on the second floor. And maybe about a year later he called and said, Eve, we've got funding. And I'm like, why? And so he came out, sent me an app, and I did the app, and everything worked out. We were able to work with Eve to go through the application process, evaluate her strengths, her limitations, and what actually her goals were. Uh, the funding from HAP allowed us to put in an interior chair rise for her home. I'm just grateful that I found out about it, and Greg was nice enough to call me back. You know, because a lot of times, you don't really know how it's going to go with the agencies. And everyone was really nice to me. Ida and the HAP funding allows people their independence. There's no money that you can attach to freedom. It's been, it's been a great experience for me. And I, if anyone else needs help, all they have to do is just reach out.